All right, the falcon's chasing the birds. They were in the dots and uh, they still some up. And here he come. You zoom in. Here he come again. Here he come again. He's about to hit the birds. He go right there. Oh, he's looking at the yellow lavat. Uh oh. Oh no, he's looking at the bird man. Woo, a roller. Whoa, whoa. Look at him. Oh, miss. Look at him right there. Look at the birds diving in. They scared. He go right there. He come right here. There you go. The birds come out quick. That's how, that's how they're supposed to do it. There you go. That's smart when they do what they just did. Come down super fast when that falcon's on them. Okay? And there go the falcon right there. The birds are flying way up there. They were rocking for a while, man. They were up there for like a half hour. And here come the falcon. Combo stop. Got chased by the falcon. They landing. There's probably two or three up in the super dots. But the rest came down. They go the falcon right there. And the birds already came down. There they go. There they go. And they go to Falcon going that way. He, he didn't get nothing. He didn't get nothing. You know what I mean? Probably a bird or two out there. He went towards the pet shop. Towards the pet shop. You know what I mean? So there you go. Falcon chase. Yep. So I had the combo stack out. He got hit hard by the uh, Falcon. They came down quick and swift. Really nice. They came down fast from way up. Now I'm at the Canadian top. They were flying for about 15 minutes, something like that. They didn't get hit. I waited at least an hour before letting these guys out, locking up the others. Now they're out, you know, about 10 minutes and shit. Remind you that they're all, they're all breeding, so um, they're thinking about their babies, or their eggs, or whatever. And youngsters, they got youngsters already. So a bunch of them hatched. So they're gonna fly, though. They're gonna stay in shape. They'll go up. That's what they think, but they're gonna chance to change the pairs. They'll change up with their mates, and then the mates will come out to fly. And you see a few birds flying. The dots that would be the ones that were sitting on the eggs. That's probably after I start feeding them or whatever. Sometimes they do it before that, but they usually eat first. And they come off the young side eggs and eat too, so it all depends. But yeah, they're up, they're flying beautifully, they were way up there real nice and uh, looking good. You know what I mean? Looking real good and the other half of these are inside, of course. On babies. I don't I try when I go in the coop. Yeah, the mob try not to mess with the ones on the eggs. Even though sometimes they get off. I hate that when it's cool like today, it's cool. And the baby's there, just born. The parents both go out and they stay up for an hour, man. Oh, that's not good. Even a half hour, even 10 minutes is too much. You ask me. So, so yeah, man, they're going to stay flying for a while. Just wanted to take a quick video. I'll get them on the way down. They're going to go up and down, up and down. So we can. As long as the falcon don't come, falcon come down, come stay on, come down really fast because they know it's the only way to get away. If the Cooper comes, they're gonna go up. It's just the way it is. All right. So just let the things do their thing. Let me enjoy them, and uh, maybe I'll get them on the way down. Okay. All right. It's been about 40 minutes, and they're still flying. Like I told you. That's why, like I said, if you let parents come out and you're breeding and flying. And they stay up that long, the babies be cold. It's cold out here, you know what I mean? It's still flying. Just staying, they're going up, coming low, coming up, going low. All right, don't let they start to slow down now. But yeah, they're still flying. No hawks, good thing. I'm happy about that. They're getting their exercise. They staying up for a while, no strays came by, nothing. Quiet. The skies are quiet. They would have saw these guys, you know what I mean? Nice and bright. A lot of print up there. So you see all the white, so I would have saw that from a distance, so there's no strings. And they're flying nice, man. They're not even trying to come down. They're just flying, you know what I mean? And they're ready to come down. I'm not even sure. They did that before, and they went right back up. I'm not whistling. I'm not thinking I'm, think I'm throwing feet, because that's when they'll look to come down, but they're flying. Anyway, I'll show you guys an update on a pair of birds. That I got together. I'll tell you about it right now. Alright, this is the deal right here. Booty cat. 
What do you cap right there? See him? See him in the back? Remember that hen? It's not a hen. It's a cock. Remember, he was younger, didn't know what it was. It looked so tiny, so small. The bird is a cock. It started bugging, so I paired him off with this white, beautiful white booty hen. And it took three days, but they made it. They were already humming and hovering together. Just wanted to get more made it, and then I'm gonna put them back in the coop. All right, so that's the female right there. And the booty cap is the male. I just do some grit in there. You see them munching out on it. And she is. She had babies before from another bird, but they're no longer together. The other bird was a different kind of bird. I didn't want them to breed, but it happened by mistake. But the baby came out looking okay. <coughs> but yeah, here we are. Nice booty hen with the booty with cat. Look at it right there. There you go, right there. That's the booty cat right there. That's it right there. Beautiful bird. Beautiful hen. Nice pair, man. And they made it. They all made it. Check them out. All right, the Canadians just dropped, though. Check it out. It just dropped, finally. Put for about 45, something like that. You know what I mean? They did their thing, they went up real nice, you know what I mean? There you go, they're gonna start coming around for some grit. They're looking for feed, you know, it's the way it is. Come from flying, they wanna eat, they have an eight. Finally came down. See, so now every time I let them out, they fly longer and longer, that's just the way it is, you know what I mean? They're real hungry, I haven't fed them, so see them all over the place. Check them out. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. See that tray over there? I'm going to fill it up with some feed. Let them eat. All right, they did their thing. Now they get rewarded for doing their flying. It's that beautiful Canadian right there. I love that Canadian right there. They did their flying. So they did their, their flying. So now I'm going to go ahead and fill up that tray. Let them eat. So like that they could uh, exchange um, with the mates and let the mates come out and do a little flying too before it gets too late. All right, they flew for a long time, so um, you know, it gets dark quick, you know, it gets late quick, is what I'm trying to say. Good thing the days are longer, it gives me more time to uh, leave with myself to fly all the birds. You know what I mean? All right, let me go ahead, throw food in there, a little meat. So yeah, there you go. Okay, they're munching out. Like I said, I'm gonna let them eat. So they could exchange with them uh, nest mates. So they could come off the youngsters and they can go ahead and get on the youngster and let the mates come out and get a little bit of exercise. You know what I mean? They need it. I was gonna let out the Turkish tumblers today, but it's getting too late, so maybe I'll do it tomorrow if I'm here early enough. That's if it's not raining. I think it's gonna rain. No, I think it's not gonna rain. I gotta look at the weather. I think it's Wednesday or something like that. But yeah, so now they'll eat. They go up on top, drink some water, and then they'll exchange with their mates, you know what I mean? And the mates will come out and do some flying probably come down to eat first and then they'll take off or they'll just take right off and go up. <whistles> All right, that's what we're doing. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and uh, you guys have a great day. I'm going to sit back, watch these things eat, relax, check the waters. I already changed one or two waters, check the rest of them. Exchange them, then lock the spurs down.
As you can see, a lot of the birds switched. Hungry birds came out. They uh, swapped mates. They didn't go up. Just came out, started eating. Okay, so that's what they did. And you see this, I don't know if you can tell, but there's different birds. There's more white booties out, there's other grizzlies, and other Canadians that wasn't out before. You can't tell, but you know, but I can tell. But there's different birds out. A lot of them swapped. They're swapping now. So we're going to eat the rest of that. And then we'll go ahead and feed them up on top, close it down, see if there's more coming out. Okay, so they're changing up. They're going to, um... They're gonna come down, they're gonna eat the rest of that right there, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put inside, fold it up and knock it down. All right, so let me show you. It didn't go up, it's late, it didn't get, get late, so. And there's a few that are still chasing for eggs that didn't have eggs yet. Um, so, that's where we are. Anyway, guys, shut the video down now. Um, thanks for watching. Um, have a great, all day.